hi everyone welcome to gt coding today we are going to be looking at designing this effect over here where we have this text and instead of the text color we have a video background over here we have a video running behind this text and we can see the video only through the text so this is what we are going to be designing in this video so let's get started <laughs> For this tutorial we are going to be using a font called railway and uh, then we will select black 900 whenever you are designing this kind of effect you always need to have a bold font so that you can see the background or uh, the video through it so we are going to be adding this to our html so I'll just click on the plus icon and uh, we will copy this line of code from here and I have opened up my project in my VS code I have a folder called videos and I have a video called lights.mp4 and then I also have index.html and style.css so first of all let's write the boilerplate for our HTML5 in VS code you can just type exclamation and press tab and you will get this boilerplate for HTML5 we we'll just type GT coding for the title. We'll also link the style.css and the font that we had copied from the Google Fonts website. Now the first thing we'll do is add the video to our uh, HTML. So we will type video and for the source we have to give the path of the video. So we'll type videos slash lights dot mp4 and we'll also add some attributes over here. So we'll type loop to loop the video and uh, mute it so that we don't have any sound and autoplay so that whenever the website is loaded the video will be automatically played so we'll just open this with live server and see whether we have our video so here we can see our video is uh, being played now we'll create an SVG for the text so we'll type SVG and uh, we'll also give it a class and uh, here we'll type text and we will type GT coding here and we'll also have to set some attributes over here so we'll set the X value to 50% and the Y value to 50% now if we go to our web page here is our text and uh, if we go to inspect our element and if we go inside the body here we can see that our text is uh, starting from the center but we don't want that we want the whole word to be centered so for that we will go to our uh, text element and uh, here we will give some more attributes so for the text anchor we will set it to middle if you look at this again here we can see that the text is in the center we'll just color our SVG so that we can see it clearly so here we will type SVG background red so here we can see our text is in the middle but there's one more problem we'll just increase our font size and then we can see it clearly we will also add an ID over here so that we can target it in our CSS we'll set the font size to 32 for now now here you can see that the text is centered horizontally but vertically it is not centered because this is the center of uh, the element and uh, and the base of the text is on the center so we have to change that as well so here we will add one more attribute and that is called dominant baseline and we will set it to central so now here we can see our text is completely in the center now to get the exact effect that we have over here we have to create some more elements in our HTML so here we will create a mask and uh, we will create a rectangle over here 
we'll set the fill to white set the width to 100 percent and the height to 100 percent and we'll move the text inside that and here we'll create a new rectangle and we'll set the width to 100 percent and the height to 100 percent and we'll also give this an id mask bg now here we have all the markup completed now we'll style this first of all we'll write some reset styles so we'll set the padding to zero margin to zero box sizing of border box and then we'll style the svg so here we'll type position absolute top zero left zero height of 100 viewport height and width of 100 percent now for the gt heading we'll set the font family to railway and the font size to 120 pixels then we'll set the letter spacing to 16 pixels and text transform to uppercase now we'll also style our background video so here we will give it a class and uh, we will set the class to bg video and here we will style it we'll set the margin to zero auto so that it will be always in the center overflow to hidden and width of 100 percent and height of 100 viewport height now here we have the video in the background but we cannot see it because of the rectangle so for that what we have to do is uh, we have to style the mask bg id that we had created over here so this is the mask bg rectangle so here we'll type mask bg and we'll type mask url and we have to give an id over here so for our mask we'll create an id we'll name it mask and uh, here we'll type hash mask so now we'll check our website and here we can see our mask is working correctly so that's basically it for this effect now we'll just go ahead and uh, make this responsive so that when we are on a mobile device we'll have a lower font size so first of all we will set the media query for max width of 1024 pixels and for that we will type gt heading font size to 72 pixels and we'll also unset the letter spacing i'll just copy this from here and paste it over here and here we will type 600 pixels and we'll remove this letter spacing from here because it has already been done in this media query we'll set the font size to 60 so now we'll check our website so this is the desktop version and we have the video running behind the text this is the mobile version this is the tablet version so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day